Hi. How would you feel if you could transform your copy into a killer copy for business growth? Because transforming your copywriting, whether it is your website, your social media content, or your blog post, is going to change your business. And of course, mindset goes with it, right? Like, I cannot separate the two. Because you need to be confident about what you write, right? So if you're struggling with imposter syndrome and unclear messaging, it's time to take a step back, observe and refine. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about in this podcast episode. So the one game-changing step that will boost your clarity and confidence so that you can elevate your message, your, your copywriting, as a business owner who sells the intangible or even as an artist who sells intangible art or consultant, course creator, the audit of your sales page and of your mindset is the game changing step that will help you transform your business. So let me explain. But first, I want to ask you. If you were your own potential client, like a total stranger landing into your world for the first time, reading your post, your sales page, whatever content, let me ask you, would you have a clear idea of the benefits and results that you would get by joining your own specific program or session? Do you feel your page is clear? Would you be tempted to join like does it feel good do you feel legit do you feel that the person if you're taking the stranger's perspective do you think feel that the person who wrote the copy feels good about it in other words do you feel satisfied and if your answer is no to any of these questions or maybe all of these questions it's totally okay i've been there myself so let's take it to the next step when you read your sales page or your post, do you cringe? Do you feel resistance? And resistance is that emotional or physical discomfort that you can happen to feel when you think about or you engage in marketing for yourself. And it can manifest as tightness in your, in your chest and not in your stomach. Uh, a general feeling of unease or dread, right? Do you hear a little nagging voice saying negative stuff? That's, by the way, the voice of imposter syndrome. And do you feel any sensation in your body? So if yes, once again, here is what you, what you need to do. Number one is clearing the resistance around the specific sentence or specific part of your copy that gave you weird feelings or sensations when you were reading your copy. So now you're probably wondering, yeah, cool. Thanks, Morgan. But how am I supposed to clear this resistance? Like, what do I do? Well, this resistance is usually rooted in fear. So it's about identifying the fear in question. Are you afraid of rejection? Are you afraid of sounding salesy? Are you afraid of not being good enough? Like, what is the fear? right? And if that's the inner voice that question your worth and capability, making you hesitant to put yourself out there and promote your services or products, when you will be identifying the cause, it's going to be brought to your consciousness. And once you're aware, you can consciously talk yourself through and stop making yourself wrong for these feelings, first of all. and then take the, take the second step that I'm going to talk about in a minute. But while you identify the fear, uh, fear of rejection, like I was saying, fear of success, fear of failure, fear of not being good enough, list up what is the story attached to it and list up the proof that this is a lie. This is an illusion, right? Like right now, what evidence do you have that... Putting your copy out there is dangerous because your, your mind is seeing it as dangerous, right? Like what is, what is the fear? What is the danger 
that your mind has associated with it. And then you're going to find what the truth is. What is the real truth? The truth is you are safe. This is your life purpose. You are excited to do it, even if you are a little bit afraid. List up all the evidence that this fear is an illusion and that it has no ground right now. And if you need help for that, DM me, I got you. Number two, trust your skills. In your area of expertise, you just need to be an expert at it, be an authority at it. You just need to be good at it. Don't compare yourself to others. List all of your skills, all of your capabilities, all of your successes. And by listing all of these, these are the evidences that you are qualified to do this. This is the reason why you need to believe in yourself. And number three, improve your copy by ensuring that it is clear and specific. And since you will have read your copy through the lens of a total stranger's perspective, you will, be you will be able to have more clarity around the gaps that you need to bridge, right? Then do exactly that. So these steps will help you not only audit your sales page, but also your mindset and how you feel about your skills and what you do in general. And if you need help to overcome imposter syndrome, clear the resistance and create a killer copy, DM me. We will do exactly that together. So I hope this helps. And remember, a lack of clarity impacts your confidence and the lack of confidence impacts your clarity. So which one came first? The chicken or the egg? You know, like clarity, confidence, not sure. Because everyone is unique and they feed each other. So do that, list up all the fears, find the evidence, list up all your skills, and then act on your copy to elevate it, and you're going to see the difference. Like I said, if you need help, feel free to reach out, and I will see you in the next episode or in my DMs, and I will see you soon. Bye.